Hey everyone, welcome back to E Plus E. I am your host, Erica. Um, thank you for waiting patiently for the newest uh, or latest video. Um, we're going to talk about a few things going on as far as our um, regular TV shows and as far as... Um, oh, I'm going to go over the season finale of Not Dead Yet as well. Um, first of all, let's start off with Based on a True Story. Um, starring our beautiful Kaylee Cuoco. I mean, I she doesn't seem to be really tied down to any real project, which is like a, a Sagittarius thing to me. Um, it's like she was on the Big Bang Theory for years, like 10, 12 years, right? And that brought a lot of stability to her life, but it just seems like she's not really going to go that way anymore. I don't know if she had issues being tied down to one thing in that contract. I don't know. But it seems like... It's like she's always on to the next thing. Um, so with that, I feel like she has... I feel like I've seen her in... I feel like I've seen things coming out with her on another uh, streaming platform. And I said, well, let me figure out what's going to go on with Based on a True Story. And sure enough, Based on a True Story will be returning. They're going to start, hopefully, going to start, like... Um, what is it like filming 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 um end of this year and we'll have something by spring of 2025 with that series i am very much looking forward to it of course i am going to go read you the entire series and figure out where we are coming up in season two so that'll be great um let's see i have a lot of there has been a lot of continuous cast updates on Only Murders in the Building, which I absolutely adore. I enjoy and I love that series. Um, if you follow them on their socials, well, I follow them on Instagram for sure. And also I follow them individually on um, Twitter. Well, X, formerly known as Twitter. Um, I follow um, a lot of the castmates, um, mostly just Steve Martin and Selena Gomez. Also Uma, who's like you know, she's like Bunny, Bunny's best friend. Um, um, and so there's just been a lot of goings on with them. I'm still, still, still looking to see Ben Glenroy come back. Uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name off the top of my head. The gentleman who played Ant-Man. Um, I'm still looking for him to be recast. I'm still looking for a lot of people to be recast. Of course, they already have, um... Stated all our records are coming back, including um, neighbors of the Arconia, Arconian and things like that. They said I still want to see Jesse Williams come back. I still want to know if they're gonna bring back um, what's the lady with the dark hair, Tina Fey. Um, I want to know if I mean because I mean it, it is officially going to be set in California this coming season, and uh, Cindy Canning was already in California trying to redo her life, whatever she was doing, because of how things went down with but Becky um, in season two. So, yeah. Yeah. I, what, the only, Meryl Streep, of course, has resigned. Um, the only thing I'm really 100% know for sure I would like to see in season four is more episodes. More episodes is a must for me. I feel like if they had more episodes, they would not try to cram in so much crapola, as my brother would say, bless his soul. Uh, so much crap into so small of a, of a season. I just feel like if they had more episodes, um, it wouldn't feel so rushed. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm always readjusting. I'm sorry. Uh, they wouldn't have to cram in so much and, and there wouldn't be so much information that just wasn't quite fitted into the main story. Um, I do feel a big part of me really, really, truly still feels like season three was not quite done. Um, and I'm going to stick to my guns with that and, and proof that it wasn't quite done, they were not quite finished with it, is just the fact that Meryl Streep has resigned. Come on now, work with me, okay? So, yes, 
Um, uh, we're excited about that. Clearly, they're in the filming process. Um, but that does not mean we'll get something this coming summer. It does not. Um, we make it a late start on Only Murders in the Building, which suits me just fine because I truly, truly feel like Only Murders in the Building is like a fall, winter type of series. Like, I, cause I always want to, I always want to come in, cuddle up with a blanket and some warm tea that maybe have a little steamed milk in my tea and just mash out. Cause in fact, in fact, in fact, um, oftentimes when I re rewatch the, the, the series, um, or the seasons, it's usually, it's usually in the fall because I want to, I just, that's just how I feel about it. It, or, you know, you know, and, you know, January through, through like March, April, you know, because I just feel like that's the best time to watch that shit, that series. So nonetheless, all right, here, what we're here for, back to the business, what we're here for. And of course it is, I'm going to talk my notes. Um, not that yet. They had a one hour season finale today or actually Wednesday what's today Thursday so yesterday which is uh Wednesday uh, they had their one hour season finale now first let me premise this by saying this I enjoy um I enjoy the series quite a bit um but what I will say is I don't know if it's if if I'm enough <laughs> I don't know if I'm enough to keep this um really going i'm sorry you guys what i'm trying to do lock screen what am i doing home screen no i need i need this to go i need just to stay on what is what is happening what, what display display all right um yeah i just don't know if it's enough for you know me to like the series uh because i don't feel like it was it I don't feel like it was enough viewership. I do not feel like it was enough. Oh, I like that little song. I'm gonna hit my face like that. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know if they had enough um, watchers. I don't know if they if they reached their target audience. I don't know what the aggregate and all those like algorithms are for that series. But I will say, if it does not return for a season three, I would not be surprised. I don't think I would be upset about it either. Um, and if they do return for return for a season three. I don't see it going beyond the season three. That's just me. Um, and maybe they should just turn it into a streaming um, series. Like, maybe just have it on Hulu and forget about having it on ABC first. Start it off, I mean, you know, move it to a platform like Hulu who can take more time to develop each character because that's what I do feel like, that there's too many characters and too many storylines per character. I mean, you got, you have a storyline with Nell. Nell doesn't really have a storyline. She's the, she's the lead, right? She's, just, this is what it's, she's what the series is about, but she doesn't technically have a real storyline. I mean, things are, we're starting to heat up with her and the gentleman, but we didn't really get a chance to see that develop. I mean, it was only 10 episodes. Why is it only 10 episodes? I don't know if she has other things going on. I know she has a new baby. Um, so maybe she wanted to just be home with her baby more. And so there, therefore they had a less, they had less episodes, but I don't feel like it was less than, I don't know. I can't remember how many episodes was in last season, but I just, and that's the thing. It's not a memorable, memorable series. Um, it's not impactful. It's just kind of there, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, Oh, nothing else is on. And I, and I'm, I'm not saying that I don't like anybody i love all the i enjoy all the characters i enjoy the storylines it's just not enough for me to tune in when i should be coming in and come here and then talk about it it just isn't enough for me um and i don't know what can beef it up i don't know what can juice it up it's just, it's just too many plots too many characters and they're all they're all good they're all i just i love the wardrobe um i love you know, I love a lot about this show. It's just too many. It's just too much. 
it's too much. We never got a chance. We didn't see, we didn't see um, Dennis's family. We still have not met his husband. We haven't, we didn't see his family this, this season. He didn't really talk too much about his, his family. I mean, I don't know. I don't, it wasn't. You know, and so my, maybe that's one of the stories they lessen it. But then you have this big, this big story about um, what's her girlfriend's name, Samantha, Sammy, and her husband going through this divorce, and it's like that's something major that is devastating. Why aren't we playing against this? Because why? Because we have enough plots going on right now, and none of them are including Nail. I feel like this season was specific about her roommate Edward and her bosses. Her boss, um, what's her name, Lexi's uh, relationship. I felt like it was also about Lexi and her father's relationship. Um, Brad Garrett played Edward, right? No, Duncan, Duncan, Duncan. So I just felt like it was more so about Lexi this season and everybody else was just kind of falling into place. Now, as far as what I did like at the end of the, at the uh, so listen, we, we doing spoilers. I don't know how not to do spoilers. So if you don't want to have me spoiled, don't listen to this part. So at the end, um, Duncan came back and he said, he at the end of like this the ninth and tenth episode at, during the ninth and tenth episodes, uh, Duncan was mentioning that Nell needs to really play up her you know her psychic abilities. She can see and speak to the deceased or people who have left their bodies, so to speak. Um, and he wants her to play that up. Like this is this is your money maker. Get it, you know. So. Um, I guess the I guess the series can kind of go in that direction. I don't know. I don't know if it's enough to keep me engaged. I feel like we don't always have to see ghosts, spirits, and things like that. We don't always have to. That doesn't because that's that's sometimes that's all Nell has is, is is this ghost following her around, and that's her whole plot. And sometimes it doesn't. A lot of times this season specifically. It doesn't even play into what that current um, episode is about. So, yeah, no, it's it needs to be further developed. They need to really sit back, take time, and develop the series better than what they did for season two. I do feel like they kind of rushed out season two um, because because season one wasn't fully engaging with audiences. Um, but that's just me. Um, what else? But I just feel like we don't I have to get we don't have to get the obituary ghost um thing every single episode. I don't think that's necessary. Um we already know she works in the obituary area. Um but not dead yet does not have to deal with her working in the obituary department. It does not have to deal with spirits and ghosts and things like that. It could just be, you know, you're here, you're sticking, you're knocking on 40, and you're not there yet. So, you know, I, I just feel like it could be, it could be a little better. And I'm hopeful things will pick up in the third season, um... For this series, um, I just feel like we could have better explored the relationship with um, Sam, Samantha, and her husband and their pending divorce. I felt like we could have did a little bit more with Dennis. Um, I felt like we could have honed in a little bit more on the relationship with Nell and her friend, her guy friend. Although, he just ain't hot enough. I'm so sorry. He just, for me, doesn't quite fit into the cast. He seems to be, I don't know who this gentleman is, first of all. Let me premise that by saying this. And I am not calling him ugly by far. I just don't feel like he fits into the cast. Um, I don't feel like he fits into the office. 
Um, he seems to be a little bit older um, in real life and on the series. I don't know. And then why do we have to go through the freezing of the eggs part? Like, girl, you can be, you. it's okay to be 40, single, and um, without child. And I don't think we had to go down the route of freezing eggs. I have kids. And this is coming from some old ass kids. Okay. But I'm just saying, I just don't feel like that was a necessary route. I mean, I know it's a thing. I just don't feel like it was necessary. I don't. Okay. Mm. So, that's where I am with that series. Um... It was a good season finale. Um, I do feel like a little bit like Nail had a level up because um, what's his name didn't quite pass on. Duncan did not quite pass on. He was he had heart failure and tell me y'all he had heart failure and he was able to his, his entity, his soul was able to visit now. Okay. And this is, you know, so this may be a level up for her ability. She may be moving from just having to write an obituary for, for people and just being visited by people just because she has that ability now. I just think it may be a level up. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I... I would not be completely disappointed um, if they don't renew the series. If it doesn't return in the fall or whenever it's supposed to return. I would not be upset if they did return it. And I would not be surprised if, if when they do return for season three, it'll be the last season. I would not. I would not. Mm -mm. Um, I do like the closure. That Lexi and her dad had for the season. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't necessarily like or dislike the relationship with Lexi and the roommate Ed, Eddie. Um, but something has to give with their living arrangements. Either Eddie has to move in with Lexi or something. I just can't see Nell and Eddie living together beyond this. Um, there's no reason. There's no reason for them to live together. I mean, there's no reason for them to live together. I don't know. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Not Dead Yet. Um, I'm going to keep things updated as far as the new season goes. Um, and then what else? Um, oh, 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 let me tell y'all. So, there's a new M. Night Shalama Lama Lama Lam. I'm so sorry. I do not mean any harm for butchering your name, sir. I honestly don't. Um, you probably will not see this in the beginning of one year, but I do not mean any harm for, for butchering your name. I think it, it's a lovely name. Uh, and I just like to say M. Night Shalama Lama Lam. I'm so sorry for that, okay? I'm just, I'm really, really sorry. Please forgive me. Um, so, like, he has this new series, this new movie coming, coming out called Trap, right? And people are, people are talking. They are talking. They are saying that this is the sequel to The Sixth Sense. And I'm just like, what? Stop it. Say something else. This ain't it. <laughs> like, I... Like, really? I, like, what is it, like, 15 years later? Um, like, 25. 25 years later, right? Anyway, um, they're saying this is a, this is a sequel. So, I'm like, okay. Um, so that got, that just really got me, like, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I am almost fully involved with this movie I and I'm not y'all know I'm not I, I can't stand I don't like like mm -mm, mm -mm, I can't be on the edge of my seat no more like I, I my, my stomach just be twisting up and knots and turning and I'm just like I will, I will walk out that theater but I'm 
so interested in this movie, Trap. And Jason, it starts Jason Bateman, I want to say. Um, and I'm just really, you guys, we may have to go to that movie and we may have to discuss afterwards. Because uh, I, I mean, ooh, it's, it seems, to, just the fact that they are long, before they even added this thing about the Sixth Sense, it was something that was the capture my attention to see in the previews going through, you know, just watch the television and see the preview. And I'm just like, oh, this looks interesting. And then when they said M. Night, I said, oh, okay, yes, okay, I understand this a little bit better. Why? And then as I was going on different blog sites and things like that, and I'm just like, really? I think it's a sequel? Okay. So now I'm like fully involved. I'm engaged and I'm ready to see what's going on with this. So, yeah, you guys, we may go on Sea Trap this summer. We gonna, it might definitely be a bop. Also, this summer, I kept, I am kind of looking forward to Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, I'm not the biggest Deadpool fan. I, listen, I'm not a, a Deadpool or Wolverine fan too, uh, at all. At all. At all. Okay? I like the classics from Marvel, the non-mutants, with the exception of Wanda. You know, and I never looked at Wanda as a mutant until MCU. But they kind of changed her. They kind of changed her dynamic. Um, she was never a mutant. But when you look back at it, you're like, oh, she had to have something in order to receive this gift. So, I get it. Um, anyway, um, I never liked anything of those mutants. None of that X-Men, Fantastic Four... I was never interested in things like that, um, but with that, I'm still, I'm still kind of excited for Wolverine, or Deadpool and Wolverine. They have mentioned that this is not a Deadpool 3, which means Deadpool still has another movie to come out, okay? So this may be like a precursor to, like, like Thor... Was it Thor Ragnarok with him and Bruce Banner? It was like to explain where Bruce and Thor were during Civil War. I feel like that's what they said to us. And I feel like this may be the reason why we'll see people saying Secret Wars. I'm still not convinced we're going to get a Secret Wars anytime soon. But I don't know. I don't know, you know, I try my best not to discuss Marvel things, but I'm just super excited to see, uh, because what I'm really hoping, okay, notice I mentioned Wanda, the last Scarlet Witch, I'm really hoping we'll see her in this movie, um, you know, I could get really emotional talking about, um, Scarlet Witch, because I just don't feel like justice was done to her in, um, Multiverse of Madness. Um, I, I, a part of me feels like Elizabeth Olsen herself did not fully commit to the role. She's too nice of a person to play somebody, to play that type of a person. Um, but she did a, a great job. Um, it's just, overall, I don't think I don't think that Wanda slash Scarlet Witch deserve what she what she received in Multiverse of Badness. And in fact, to her credit, um, she didn't either. She says in the beginning of the movie, she says, I don't think that's fair. And it isn't. It truly, truly isn't. Like I just I get so emotional talking about it. And I know they're superheroes and villains and heroes and whatever else but I just it just really ticked me off how they did Wanda and I, it ticks me off how Marvel does not truly get behind their women led movies whether it's an Ant-Man and Wasp or it's a Captain Marvel whether it is all women um, I just don't feel like they get behind movies with with that's led with women um I just don't feel that way. I don't. That's me. Okay. Um, I and, and 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 conversely, I just don't feel like that was a good second film for Doctor Strange either. It just it just wasn't enough of Doctor Strange for me. Um, 
It was more about Wanda. Um, and it just wasn't a good... I mean, it was a good movie, but it wasn't a good enough. It was good enough. It was good enough. Okay, let's plop it there. But I just don't be really feel like either character received the recognition they they deserved in Multiverse of Madness. Neither one of them. Neither one of them. Neither one of them. Neither one. Nope. I don't. I don't. But it was good. It was good to see. It was good to see. It was really good to go to the movies and see a movie. But I just don't feel like... I just don't feel like it was. And I, so, okay, with that, and I, I just hope... I feel like we're going to see Wanda in this next movie. And not just a retrospective of Wanda slash Scarlet Witch. I feel like we're going to get the actual Scarlet Witch um, in this movie. And I don't think it's going to be a post credit. No, mid-credit, whatever it's called, it's going to be within this movie. I also feel my fingers is tangling. Uh, uh, my spider senses is tingling. The Peter Tangle uh, that we're going to get maybe some Loki and or Mobius and or somebody from the TVA that we're used to seeing in Loki. And not just the agents. We're going to see a major character. I really truly feel that we're going to get a major character from the Loki series. I feel like we're going to get some Wanda. I feel like we could possibly get some 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 Bruce. Um, I just feel it. And I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm not mad about it, okay? And with that, babies, it's time for me to roll up out of here. It is going on 7 o'clock here. Um, and also, um, a big thing going on here is we are, Detroit is hosting the NFL Draft. And so, I, I'm going to try to get my happy ass down there one of these days. I work downtown, so I don't really feel like I need to go. Because I can just step out my work door and be there in like 2.2 seconds. So, it's like, come on. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys are well, and I hope this is received with the best intentions. I love you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for your patience with this channel. I promise it's going to get better. <laughs> I've been promising that for a good year now, right? I don't care. I still been promising it. I promise, okay? I love y'all. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.